Time for our executive edge shares of Bumble jumping 64% in yesterday's trading debut. Closed at $70.31. This after opening at $43 per share. Values it above $13 billion. The company raised $2.2 billion, most of which will be used to pay down debt and buy back shares from its pre-IPO stakeholders. But another big IPO. Another day, another big IPO, right? Joe. Yeah, cer certainly was. I don't know. What's it worth? I don't know. You know, Blind Lemon is a uh, Cincinnati band. I wonder why, if they, that's why they played that. I, I don't know. What's it worth, Andrew? I, I mean, is it, it's a dating thing, right? It, what, I don't know. Is it a, do you know anything about There's it? Big is money this money in dating. Is this, is this, what, is this a swiper? Do you, it, was that, that's some other one. Swipe right, swipe left, or whatever, right? I Which think one? Greco There's swiping involved. In. The swiping, there's, there's swiping involved. Swipe or no swiping. That's what I think of. Uh, Door the Explorer when I think of uh, when I think of You know that what idea. I realized, though? What? It's an unfortunate name for the company, Bumble, because when the shares do drop, the headline's going to be Bumble Stumbles. Bumble Stumbles. You're probably right. Well, and, and, <laughs> and we have our producer who's on, and whenever he's on, when he goes on it, it's Bumbler. I think is what I, I, I always used to use that. <laughs> so there's a, I'm not sure. But uh, a great day for the company yesterday. Yeah, unbelievable. I, yeah. Back to that question. I mean, this, this doesn't seem like rocket surgery. Why is it worth so much? Why does it go 64% once again? That, is that a reflection of the overall froth or pricing it wrong again? Or I don't know. I don't know. Expedia, meanwhile. I saw a this, Yahoo survey yesterday. Yeah, go just ahead. Uh, real quickly on this note, I saw a Yahoo survey that was done yesterday that said something like 28 percent of American adults said that this year they have spent money or bought a stock, one of these high flyer stocks, whether it be a GameStop or an AMC or a handful of other companies. And that, that's kind of phenomenal if that's right. It was based on a survey of just a thousand people. But you start thinking that through. That's millions and millions and millions of people saying that they bought one of those stocks that moved. That was one of the right. Reddit stocks. So, and yeah, that, that, you, guys, that makes me think of this article. I mean, we haven't talked about that. Criminal probe in well, the game stock frenzy is, is, let me ask you this. When Ben Mesrick is like making these guys heroes and wow, aren't they amazing? What if eventually there's some criminal activity? Does that go into the movie? Or does the movie end last week? Or how does that, uh, no, we said it, that all it, along. It, we don't it, know the ending. We don't know the ending of this movie. Uh, you know, the other ones you can make them into, I don't know, maybe Mark, Mark Zuckerberg wasn't necessarily a hero in the, in the social network. Maybe there, there will be anti-heroes in the anti-social uh, network. Is that what it's going to be called? Well, remember the Winklevi were like the bad guys in the social network. And then I there were the Larry heroes Summers in his was, next I thought Larry around. Summers was the bad guy. I thought the Winklevi got, felt mm -hmm. like they got shafted. They, they got the, the last laugh, I think, sort of. At least. They definitely came back in his next book. Last chuckle. Yeah, they did. And they're, they're probably worth a yeah. billion dollars at this point. More. More. Billion. More. Yeah. A, a, a oh, piece. goodness. Multi. A piece. Multi, multi billion dollars. So awesome. But I, I imagine just two things. One on GameStop, I imagine there will be, I imagine the, the quote unquote good guys who are doing this, there will be the anti hero who will have induced the others to do it on false, uh, you know, with some kind of false pretense, right? I mean, we'll see how that plays out. But I just wanted to make one comment about Bumble and, and sort of we keep looking at these IPOs and thinking that whether they're too inflated or not. I've now been talking to a lot of CEOs about why people are pricing these things where they are, because we've talked about shouldn't they be pricing them higher. Many CEOs now believe that the market unto itself is overpriced already. And so they're, they're worried that if they actually price it too high, yes, they take the money off the table and are taking advantage of the investor. But they're worried that that would actually undermine the confidence that they'd have in those investors when and if the price goes down, which some of them are already expecting. That that's, was the great, great, for me, great revelation recently in terms of a number of conversations I've had with CEOs who are planning IPOs, thinking about how they're pricing it. They all think the, the market is a little bit euphoric. Yep. Well, we, we're going to skip Expedia, which was a, uh, that's, and it's, you know what, Becky, I got, uh, I got jumble. Uh, jumble of the brain, blind lemon, blind melon, blind melon. That that, that was that. Song. Blind lemon is in Cincinnati, but the bl blind melon is not. But that's like a jumble, right? That's an anagram. It is an anagram. Lemon melon. Yeah. Lemon melon. Yeah. Greco mm -hmm. is watching. The the bumbler is, is watching, and I'm actually the bumbler in in, in this case. Correcting but, you. Uh, yeah, I was going to yeah. say correcting you, bumbling. So Expedia <laughs> had a tough go of it. 
Stop the headlines. Did anyone book it? Uh, bookings down 66% or something, but the stock is reflecting, yeah. I, I guess, the future or something. But what's, what's doing well is, is it called Verbo or VRBO? Do you know that one? That's like vacation. VRBO. 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 Yeah. That, that's doing pretty well, I guess you can. Vacation rental by owner, I think it stands for. Yeah, you can socially distance, I guess, in those places. With Bumble, <laughs> right. don't you think eventually you have a vaccine, like, thing to fill in there? I've had the vaccine, as a, or I've, I've got antibodies or something. Isn't, is that the world we're going to be With living Bumble. in? Where you, on Bumble. On Bumble. Perhaps. Yeah. Badge of honor, you know. Right. I'm safe. That's Maybe what we're all passport. waiting for. The airlines, I mean, it, right. I, I, we might be Well, I'm with there. Kramer. As soon as I can, I want to travel again and get out. <laughs> big, big things, you know. I'll go anywhere. Movies, restaurants, plane trips, all I of those things. I was actually checking on Jim this morning to make sure he was tweeting uh, because he got the, the second uh, Right, because he got yesterday. Oh, and I want to make sure he ago. wasn't like, shot. you know, under the covers with chills or headaches or something like that. He seems okay. Seems he like seemed fine yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.